Okay, hello everyone, this is Cassady Stamps, and welcome to another episode of Keener's Craft. As you can see, I am actually getting some redstone dust out, because, you see, I have decided what I'm going to sell in my shop. I have decided what I'm going to sell. It is going to be a redstone chicken shop, so anyways, hold on. Let me just get a little bit of cobblestone, eh? Yeah, a little bit of cobblestone, eh? And, oh, hey, there's some more quartz. Here we go, here's some cobblestone, eh? Anyways, I'm going to just smelt it up. Smelt up the cobblestone, eh? We do not have enough coal in that guy. Anyways, we do need some. That one also doesn't have enough coal. Anyways, let's put these guys in. And those guys. And this one can also get some. So... Let's see, we do need some sticks because we do need to make some redstone torches. And I will be back when I have more stuff. Time skip. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And yeah, as you can see, I am down here in the mine. I do have some diamond ore here, and some lapis. Because I have been mining for redstone and also some cobblestone. However, yeah, I do take all the ores that appear in the mine. You see, I have nine redstone dust from this bit, which started with 13 torches, which means I was more than halfway through the branch, but basically what happened is, is I was mining yesterday, and then all of a sudden the stream decided to disconnect, but yeah, basically I have been mining for resources, and now I think that I'll call that a day, so... Time skip. Goody. Okay, hello everyone. I am back. And yeah. Well, that is the status of the cobblestone I'm smelting up into stone. <laughs> However, we do have a small bit of a crisis on our hands. We do... Did you hear that? That was the sound of an arrow landing. <laughs> We have one of these idiots. However, I can guarantee you that if that guy was the only one, he was from an old spawn, because they do not spawn one by one. That is just not the way raiders work. Pillagers, actually. They're called pillagers. So that is interesting to say the least. However, let's just eat that potato, get that fully grown wheat crop, and time skip. Okay, hello. I am back. And Currently what I'm doing is, I am actually, you see, I have some redstone comparators divided into stacks of 16. I'll actually bunch them all up together just for now. That is, let's see, just plain redstone is item number one, redstone torches are number two. So this is item number three that I'm planning on putting in my shop. However, now we actually have to go outside and, or now we actually have to sleep rather. We have to sleep and then go outside. Because... You see those? Yeah, I hate those guys. But they spawned. Again. This is the second... This is the second recording segment in a row where these guys have spawned. Uh, however... 
It appears that all that's left is the flag guy. I don't know where the rest of them go. However, we will need to milk a cow after this. Oh, dry up. Anyways, as you can see, we now have Bad Omen, which means that if we don't want to start a raid, we need to get some of this, some of that sweet, sweet milk. Eee! Some of that sweet, sweet milk. Eee! Let's not go over there. Let's not go over there. Oh, look at that. I'm... Remember, eating in Minecraft is one of the most important things you can do. The most important meal of the day in Minecraft is eating. <laughs> Basically, they're all important. However, let's see. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I need to get a bucket. Oh, hey, look, lava. Anyways, they're not in there, so... I'm hoping there's one down here, because otherwise I will have to. Either make one, or... Well, you know. I'm not going to use the lava bucket, so I'm just going to make one. Oh, Cacti! Please go into my inventory. Mouse, go where I want you, not where I put you. Anyways. Eee! I guess. Thank you. That cow is now going to become food. No. Because it escaped. And let's see. Yes, we did get leather from it. Okay, well that's item one. Time skip. Okay, this is Keener's Craft. Episode 9, Segment Elephant. Take one. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. I am actually looking for some, uh, well, I'm actually, I actually have something to show you. And that something to show you is actually something that I probably should have done a long time ago, if I am to be honest. But first, let's actually, first, let's actually assemble... First, let's actually assemble another stack of repeaters. Yeah, the repeaters. And there we go. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever told you, actually. Repeaters are item number four. Or item D, actually, I believe it is. However, I do have something to think... I do have something to show you. That would be this. I've replaced the wooden doors with ironic doors. Now, while I will say that zombies with the can break doors tab are quite rare, I s still actually managed to get one. And the thing is, it went into my house, broke that door, and this door, and then despawned somewhere along the way. And, uh, yeah. So, I replaced the... I replaced the, the oak doors with ironic doors. And never mind this, there's really nothing I can do about it as it hides the redstone circuitry, and to have the redstone circuitry showing would be to have the redstone circuitry exposed, and that would be a hole in the wall. So unfortunately, I can't. Time skip. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And as you can see... What I, 
I am down in my branch mine. Because, actually, the thing I ran out of this time was stone. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a progress update to let you know that I am down here a mining. Time skip. Okay, just a small little progress update for you. I managed to find some diamonds. And of course, whenever I find diamonds, I of course go back to the to the chest that I placed just outside it right at the entrance to this. That is actually a pathway connected between two branches because it's easier than manually checking every single torch placement ever. Is that good? Woo! Not quite. However, that is good. Time skip! Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And, yep. Just another little diamond progress update for you. Ooh, and some iron as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so like me. Diamonds. Oh boy, that was a close one. That was a close one. Thank goodness that bedrock block was there. Otherwise, I would have been actually quite literal toast, and probably beyond that as well. Yeah, probably beyond that. If I am to be honest. Okay, good. I did put it under the diamond block. Or the diamond ore block. And of course it is just one. Oh boy. Of course there's lava next to it. Of course there is. Hey! Seriously! You have got to be kidding me! I wasn't even anywhere near that. Did you see that? I didn't even come near it. It was just like, oop, you are in close proximity. Here, have some proximity effect. Well, screw you, lava. I hate you and your stupid proximity effect. I think I might have caused a chain reaction, causing some other gravel to fall. Anyways, that got me completely turned around. However, I'm... I know where I am now. So, time skip. Okay, hello everyone. I am back. And yep, this is another progress update to say that I am actually now on the second level of the branch mine. You see, I have three levels of them. I have one below this. And one above this. But, as you can see, I have found diamonds. And, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, as you can see, we were down... We went up the ladder. This is the second level. But, yeah. I need six stacks of stone cobblestone to create one stack of, of observers. Observers are kind of murder to uh, craft. Anyways, time skip. Okay, hello everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, we do have these, we do have these pieces of cobblestone. Apparently, I actually had already crafted the observers and didn't realize it. But you see, seven stacks of cobblestone plus one stack of redstone dust allows us to create one stack of droppers, which we can sell 32 for one diamond, I'm guessing. I mean, to be honest, droppers aren't super expensive. They're only seven stacks of cob cobblestone and one redstone. So, not super inexpensive either, but not super expensive, unlike some of them. 
Time skip. Okay, hello everyone. I am back. And yeah. Basically, you see these? Yeah, I'm still on ironic tools. Whereas I probably should be upgrading to diamond tools, but you see. Apart from that one mending book, I don't have any mending, so. That's really not an option quite yet. However, however, I am going to be buying a few books off of Dusk Rider in a, in a bit, but until then, there it is. There's my normal diamond pickaxe, but until then, time skip. Okay, hello. This is just a progress update. To say that it is a new day, and so I'm doing my new new routine where I do a daily mining session. There are, are some days where I may miss it for some reason, or for whatever reason, but yeah. For the most part, I'm doing a daily mining session, and I found diamonds, as well as some lapis and some coal. Anyways, I've got to put the diamonds away now. Time skip. I see you there. Hello, wandering trader. What trades do you have? Uh -huh. Let's see. Tango, B-dubs, and some mini blocks. Unacceptable. Uh -huh. And then we've got the normal uh -huh. ones, including tube coal. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, how about I give you an... How about I give you my verdict on those trades? Hmm? Whoa. Got it. Seriously, one arrow? Let's see if I can... I am about to die. What did I t tell you? Okay, respawn, thank you. Open. Now. Thank you. Uh, I... I did some... I did some monster video editing yesterday and today. And this may or may not be the result of that. This is probably a quite a dangerous place to be eep, to be juggling tasks. However, let's see. We do have some arrows here. Well, wandering trader, you want a verdict on whether or not I use your trades? Well, here, I give you a verdict. Oh boy, what is the... Oh, that is lower than what I'm rendering out to. And yeah, I render out to a cinema frame rate. Um, well... Come on, Tick, go down. Go down. It appears that we are having some issues. You see, the tick is taking up... The tick is taking up all of the resources, and... This is a zero-sum computer process. Not sure about zero difference, but definitely zero-sum. Meaning, what goes up brings others down. That being said... Not sure if, as far as percentage goes, percentages go, yes, it is zero difference as well. Not sure if the actual amount of resources, though. Not sure if the actual amount of resources is, actual amount of resources is. 
There we go. We've got... We've gotten its head. Justice has been served. But as I was saying, not sure if... If the actual... Not sure if the actual resource usage when something goes down and brings others up. However, I do know when something goes up, it does bring others down. Time skip. Okay. Is this some kind of joke? We literally just had a wandering trader here. And here it is. It appears to have let go of the trading alums, though. Which means that I can actually... I don't want to do it while it's in close proximity to them still. But I can actually get rid of this guy. Fairly easily. <laughs> but yeah, that is the second one that spawned in my base. And now we have... Yeah, now we appear to have four of them. Time skip! Okay, hello everyone. I am back, and you see this giant ladder? That is what was going to be the pathway to my AFK platform. However, 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 it looks boring. We are going to be sprucing it up. And we are also going to be perching it up. Yeah, we are going to be doing both. But we can't... We can't do that without actually doing it. So... So let's get started on it. So let's get started on it. Time skip. Okay, progress update. We now have the entire pillar completely spruced and purged up. If there were such a thing as spruce and purge ladders, I'd be all over it, trust me. However, because there aren't, it's just normal ladders. However, we do have a bit of a problem where it literally ends right here in a bit of a in a bit of a sticky point so yeah i do kind of have to am very much going to build this out so yeah i am going to build this and go to the center point and build the afk chamber there time skip okay hello everyone i'm back and, yes, I am just climbing this ladder to the top. But once we get there, you will actually see something that is different from the last take, from the last segment. Ta-da! See, we've got an iron door out here. And then for added protection, we put ourselves away from the door. And we put ourselves around about here. Around about the center, or as close as we can get to it as we can. And that is our new AFK platform. Time skip! Okay, hello everyone. I am back. And as you can see, I have these torches, and I am going through a cave. What I am doing is lighting up the place. Now, you may ask, why are you lighting this cave up? Isn't cave lighting dangerous? Oh yeah. However, is cave lighting something that tends to be a necessary evil? Also, oh yeah. It's another, oh yeah. Oh boy, is it dangerous. And oh boy, is it a necessary evil. However, because it's a necessary evil, you can't avoid it. You can only delay it. So, I have decided that I will delay it no further. 
see, the thing is, delaying it any further than this, really, there's no reason to. Time skip. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And, yeah, as you can see, I did find a dark area. It has been previously explored a little bit before. However, not very much, because this area was actually completely dark when I arrived here just now. This is how much work I have actually done on it, literally just now. I mean, if I am to be honest, cave lighting does not actually take that much time. I mean, basically all you need to do is spam torches. And, of course, avoid any mobs. And any lava pits. Lava pits are a place that you have to stay away from. Otherwise, you could get... You could either fall into one or get knocked into one and... Either way, you will lose everything. I died near a lava pit earlier and... While I didn't lose everything, I lost a few things, although a great chunk of my items survived, including... Rude! Do not interrupt me while I'm trying to talk. But yeah, a great chunk of my items survived, including... Actually, the potatoes. My old pickaxe? That is a... Stupid giant slime. Hey, wait a minute. That means that this is a slime chunk. F3. F2. F3. Oh boy. Boy, are those things deadly. Come at me, bruh. There we go. Ow! Not you as well. Okay, now the tiny slimes we do not need to worry about until we have disposed of all the medium slimes. However, I would not, I would really not recommend using a sword on tiny slimes unless you have looting. If you don't have looting, it is, what I would recommend is just punching them because you see, they only have half a heart of health. And so you can simply kill them by just punching them like that. Time skip. There's a creeper over there. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And as far as the exploration allows me to go, it appears that I have gotten everything lit up. However, there is most definitely something up there that is not lit up. Unfortunately, the only way to get up to it, that I can, as far as I can tell at least, is through the, whatchamacallit, the water stream. Which means that we kind of have to leave this water alone until we make an actual way to get up to it. Time skip. Okay, hello everyone, I am back. And it appears that I am trapped here. There's a creeper there along with a skeleton. Oh boy. Let's just see if we can... Okay. And, of course, they fall into the water pit, which is actually our only exit. It's our only hope of getting out. <laughs> Time skip. Okay, hello everyone. I am back. As the game starts acting up again. I had this problem back in the days of Tooncraft, so it's not like it's new. I was just hoping it would be gone until the computer 
I know, until the computer, until I need a new one, but nope. However, I am back for the last time in this video, because A, the 1.16 update is releasing tomorrow, B, I feel like this episode has gone on long enough, and C, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for. I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, then please do hit the like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But anyways, this has been Cassady Stamps. Yeah, this has been Cassady Stamps. Cheers for watching, and uh, I will see you later. Bye!